Welcome home. I hope your recovery is going well and you've been able to stay active so far. My name is Kelsey and I'm a physical therapist here at Parkview. Today we're going to review your precautions, so the things we don't want you to do after surgery. And then we're going to go over a few basic exercises that you can start performing at home to strengthen your hip after surgery. To start, we're going to review your precautions. So for this, I want you to look and see where your incision is, because there's three different types of hip surgeries. So if your incision is in the front of your hip, you have anterior hip precautions. And for that, the only there's two things we don't want you to do. One is turn your foot out and twist over your planted leg, okay? The only time we really see this is if someone like plants and tries to turn quickly, they'll do that. So just make sure you pick up your feet when you turn. The other thing we don't want you to do is if you're getting dressed, we don't want you to do a figure four. So bring your leg up like this to get your socks and shoes on. Okay, you are allowed to bend down, that's perfectly fine. We just don't want you to do the figure four. So those are your two rules if you have your incision in the front of your leg. Okay. If your incision is in the back of your hip, you have posterior hip precautions. And with this, you have three big rules. So the first rule is we don't want you to bend your hip past 90 degrees. So you can come to 90, but we don't want you to go past 90. So this also includes bending forward. So you can't bend forward to get your socks and shoes on. So in the hospital, you're probably given some tools to help you or family members can help you get your socks and shoes on, but you can't bend down. That 90 degree rule also includes sitting on a low toilet or in a low chair. So if you're tall, be really careful about what chair you're sitting into and make sure you're not bending your hip too much. The other two rules you have is we don't want you to cross your surgical leg over your non-surgical leg, okay? So no crossing your legs. If you're a natural leg crosser, you can put a pillow between your knees when you're sitting down, anything to remind you not to cross. The last rule is we don't want you to turn your toes in. So no going pigeon toed. Try to keep your toes straight out. Uh, we see this the most if someone turns quickly to pivot and they turn their toes inward. So when you go to turn, make sure to pick up your feet. So again, that's if your incision is in the back. If your incision is on the side of your hip, you have lateral hip precautions. So this we call no extreme range. So we don't want you bending past 90. So again, that includes not bending down to get dressed. We don't want you kicking your leg out behind you. We don't want you crossing your legs or kicking your leg out to the side. We don't want you turning your toes in. So no going pigeon toed and no turning your toes out. So you just try to keep your feet pointed forward. Okay, and again, that's if your incision is on the side of your hip and you have lateral hip precautions. All the exercises we're gonna to review today are safe for all three types of surgery, so you don't have to worry about that. We're gonna start on a bed. You can also do this on a couch or with a chair, as long as your surgical leg is supported out in front of you. So we're gonna lay down and have your surgical leg out in front of you. You can do this sitting up how I am, or if it hurts your back, you're free to lay down as well. It's just whatever is comfortable. We're gonna start with what's called a quad set. So this is gonna focus on your quadricep muscle or this big muscle right in the front of your leg. So to do this, you're gonna tighten and push your knee straight down into the bed, okay? And we want you to hold this for three seconds. So one, two, three, and relax. For feedback, you can take your hand and put it underneath your knee, and as you tighten, you should feel your knee pushing down into your hand. Okay, and again, hold for one, two, three, and relax. And we'll do one more together to practice. So tighten, push your knee straight, and hold for one, two, three, and relax. Okay, I want you to go ahead and do 10 more on your own. This next exercise is called a glute set. So it's gonna work on our booty muscles. It's the same concept as our quad set, 
but this time we're going to squeeze our butt cheeks together. So you squeeze and hold for one, two, three, and then relax. There's not good feedback on this other than you should feel your muscles tighten, and if you're doing it right, you raise up a little bit when you do it. So tighten, hold for one, two, three, and relax. One more together. Tighten and hold for one, two, three, and relax. Okay, I want you to go ahead and do 10 more on your own. For this next exercise, I feel like it's easier for you to lay down, especially if you're a posterior hip, then you don't have to worry about the angle of your hip. And this exercise is called a straight leg raise. So we're gonna focus on this quad muscle again, which is this big muscle right in the front of our leg. So you're gonna tighten it and lift your heel straight up in the air and hold for one, two, three, and relax. This should be a slow controlled movement I don't want you to raise your leg up and then just let it drop back down. So let's do a couple together. So tighten this muscle, lift your leg up, hold for one, two, three, and slowly lower back down. And one more, we'll tighten, lift your leg up, and hold for one, two, three, and slowly lower back down. Okay, I want you to go ahead and do 10 on your own. Now we're going to move into a sitting position. So you're going to be sitting with your feet planted on the floor and I want you to grab a pillow and you'll put the pillow in between your knees. So this exercise is called an adductor squeeze and your adductors are just these nice muscles right on the inside of your legs here. Okay, So that's where you should feel this exercise. So you'll put the pillow between your knees. You can also use a soft ball if you have it, whatever is available and you're just gonna squeeze your legs together and hold it for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, and relax, and then do it again. Squeeze for one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Okay, I want you to go ahead and do 10 more on your own. The last exercise is called a long arc quad. So for this exercise, you'll be seated with your feet planted on the floor, and this is gonna focus again on this big quadricep muscle in the front of your leg. So you'll tighten this muscle, lift your leg straight up in the air, and you wanna try to get your leg as straight as possible. If you can't get it today, that's okay. This just gives you a goal to work towards. And I want you to hold it for three seconds. So one, two, three, and then slowly lowering back down. This is another one that I want you to focus on slow controlled movements, especially when you're lowering your leg. So let's do a couple together. We'll tighten our muscle, lift your leg straight up and hold for one, two, three, 
and then slowly lower back down. I do one more tighten, raise up, hold for one, two, three, and slowly lower back down. Okay, I want you to go ahead and do 10 more on your own. Good job, I hope that was helpful and I want you to start incorporating those exercises two to three times per day at home. And remember to start walking. Walking is one of the best things you can do after surgery. So you can be walking around your house, go for a walk around the block, wherever you're comfortable, but try to walk multiple times per day. You can also incorporate ice for 15 to 20 minutes at a time. Just make sure to have a barrier between the ice and your skin, such as a towel. Good job and remember to follow our next video for a few more exercises.